Hi, we're at Planet Fitness. We're gonna do a beginner workout. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to get started. All right, we're gonna start with um, some leg extensions. We're gonna do a leg workout. Um, first of all, we have to adjust the seat, make sure in the back that it's adjusted, that your knees are just right up to um, the bench. And um, we're gonna adjust our weight. So this is a warm up set. So we're gonna keep it nice and light. If you need to adjust it, you pull this back or forward. I'm gonna lift this up. And if you notice, right here, there's a bigger person on here. So I'm gonna have to adjust it here so I can get a full range of motion. And I'm just gonna warm up. This is a little on the light side for me, but for demonstration, it's fine. So usually you wanna do for a warm up set about 12. And then you're going to follow this up with three more sets, a little heavier. And you want to do between eight and 10. So if you could do more than 10, you want to bring your weight up. If you do less than eight, you want to bring your weight down. Okay? Moving on. All right, we're going to do leg, leg curls. Um, we did leg extensions. Our legs are warmed up. We're ready to go. So we're going to do some leg curls. Um, you can adjust here. I'm short, so everything goes to the most adjustment that I can get. Like I said, you're gonna warm the back of your legs up, so you want to have light weights, and then the next three sets have it be a heavier weight. So I'm gonna keep this on the light side. Go on here, elbows go on the padding, and you're just going all the way up and down. First set, you want to keep it around 12 for a warm up, and then the next three sets between 8 and 10. All right, we're at the squat rack right now. A lot of women feel intimidated when they use a squat rack, so I'm gonna give you a play-by-play. -play. First of all, you wanna set the, um, the bar up to where it's right almost below the shoulders, okay? So that's the first thing before you put weights on it. Um, a lot of women like to use the padding. Okay, so you're gonna find one of these pads and put this around it. It's a little um, more cushion on the back of your neck. I don't use padding, but um, that's just my preference. All right, um, you're gonna start off with the lightest weight that you can, and to be honest with you, if you're a beginner, maybe you might not wanna have any weights at all. So I'm not gonna use any weights, just to show you um, an example. Um, the bar goes back, so when you put the bar on the back of your neck, you don't want it up here, okay? You want it across the fat part of your shoulders. Um, get used to that, and honestly, your hand preference, where you're putting your hands, totally up to you, all right? You wanna make sure that your feet are almost like right underneath the bar, because when you're bending back, you're going to put your butt all the way back, and your knees are gonna be at a 90 degree. All right, your hips, your um, feet are hip width apart. You don't want them out too much, just especially for beginners. You want it close to you, but comfortable. So your hips, your um, feet are hip width apart. You might want to take your toes and point them out just a little bit. Totally up to you, it's your preference. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way down and up. All the way down. And up. You're focused on pushing your butt back like you're sitting in a chair. Just like that. Okay, until you get this motion down, I wouldn't put any weights on here. This is a warm up. Okay, and then when you are a little bit more comfortable, you can add sets, some weights. All right, um, totally up to you, your preference on um, how much weight you want to put in there. 
but do it slow, like one step at a time. You put fives on each side and then the next time tens, totally up to you. And by the way, if you haven't done this exercise before, you will be sore the next day. Okay, now that we did squats, we're gonna turn this into a lunge, okay? So what you're gonna do is the same premise that you're gonna keep your, um, the bar close to your shoulder with, and you're gonna take your one foot up a little bit and the other foot back. So it looks like this. Um, you wanna, when you're doing your lunges, you're going to take your knee and go almost to the floor. And if you notice, my front knee is not going forward. Okay, so it's not like this, all right? You wanna keep it um, one step up, one step back, and you're just going straight down. This actually works on um, the sweep, the muscle in your leg. And just like everything, you wanna start off with no weights. You wanna do about 10 on each side. And what I do is when I switch over, since this is comfortable for me, switching over is I wanna take the same, the foot and put it the same distance, put it back, and go straight down. Okay, this is good, especially when there's not enough room in the gym and it's packed and you wanna just stay in one spot. It's a good exercise. You will be sore the next day, definitely. Okay, another variation of lunges, if you can't get to a squat rack, you could just grab dumbbells and you know, you're just stepping forward. You can use this in small spaces. You can alternate. You can also just stay on one side. If that's easier for you, totally up to you. And also you could do walking lunges. But remember when you're doing lunges, you're focusing on your um, shoulders being back. You wanna keep a straight back and you wanna bring your back knee almost to the floor. So it looks like this, okay? Good. Okay, at um, Planet Fitness, I know they have two leg press machines. This one, which you put your, um, your free weights on there, the big weights, and then you have another one where it's adjustable. Here's the adjustable one. I prefer the, um, the other one because it has a bigger range of motion and I like to work on um, bigger body parts. So I'm gonna use this one. Like everything that you do, you wanna do a set with the lowest amount of weights that you can. Now being that I'm short, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's two adjustments on the leg press. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna adjust it without any weights to make sure that it's okay for me, all right? So what I do is I'm gonna just go on here and if you notice, I'm a little short. So I, what you do is you pull this out and you can actually adjust it to the second one if it's up to you, um, whatever you prefer, okay? This looks pretty good for me anyway. Um, you can also adjust the back. I'm gonna come up here. And you can adjust back here where you're not. No? Okay. You can't adjust the back. On this one, you can. But on um, there's other ones that you can adjust this where you're um, either going closer to um, the machine or not. It's totally um, the angle if you want to adjust it. But this one's not adjustable. All right. For demonstration, I'm gonna just use these 10 pounds. It's pretty light. But for a beginner, you wanna keep it as light as you can because you're gonna be sore and you know, you just wanna make sure that you're getting the exercise correct. So I'm just gonna sit down, straighten my legs, pull this out. I'm going all the way down and up. You wanna keep your, um, your heels totally on um, the pad at all times, okay? If you're lifting your heels up, you have to adjust your feet because you don't want to be using the top part of your feet. You wanna really pull from the back because it works the back of your legs, okay? Do as many as you can. You wanna keep it between the 12 range and then, the next three sets. You kind of could go up on this, keep it around the 10, uh, 10 reps, but this is really good exercise. 
it works a really big part of your leg and you can burn a lot of calories while you're doing this. Okay, that is the end of our leg training. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, I'm going to be posting a tricep workout as well. Um, and if you um, are a beginner, beginner, and you really want to just get started at the gym, I also have a blog on just for beginners, just getting started. So I hope you like the video and have a great day.